Hey you guys, it's me, Kira T, and it is a beautiful Sunday here in Chicago. I am at home, just relaxing. This morning, I went on a bike ride, which was really nice. Um, I'm probably gonna throw up some clips of that shortly, but um, I just wanted to come out here and drop a, a video. I was gonna say short, but I'm learning not to say that because I talk a lot. I'm a, I'm a talker, okay? Pray for me. But um, I guess what God is doing probably, glory to him, it's helping me to talk about things that matter as opposed to gossiping, you know, because, you know, I've suffered or not suffered, but I've struggled with um, the spirit of gossip and, and slander and things like that. Things that just didn't bring glory to God. So glory to him for delivering me from that. I would literally much rather talk about God um, because that's where my heart, that's my heart is 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 so sold out for him. It's such a beautiful place to be. But um, I don't want to go down that tangent. I'm really dropping this video because anytime I drop a video and I'm talking about something specific, my intentions are never and they will never be to make someone feel um, like uh, convicted, you know, because at the end of the day, only God can convict me, you know, and I know that God brought me to him in his timing. We have the gift, the beautiful gift from God of free will. And because we have the gift of free will, it is really going to be us as individuals who go to God in our timing. I drop my videos more so to shine light on certain things and to paint things in a certain perspective. And this is something that God has just been slowly, slowly revealing to me. I am just, my intentions are to expose the enemy. My intentions are to expose the enemy, not to expose where you are, because we all struggle. I just uploaded a video yesterday about the spirit of greed, and I caught it early. God revealed it to me early, and I was able to be like, uh-uh, spirit of uh, greed, I see you. I see you, but when I tell y'all that I upload these videos, and my sleep has been off, I've had to wake up at like 2, 3 in the morning praying, warring in the spirit, because I am on a mission to expose the enemy. Why? Because he is the only enemy of God. Really, he is. I mean, I know the, the um, I know the Bible says that. Um, God says specifically that a friend of the world is an enemy of his. Um, but the enemy is God's greatest enemy. So, and I'm not doing it in the sense of me trying to ex to defend God. God don't need me to defend him. I pray for God to defend me and have my back all the time. But I um I take the approach of wanting to expose the enemy because he has really like how the scripture says he comes to skill, steal, steal, kill, and destroy. He has legit pounced on me for years. I, as a little girl, I grew up in a church. I always knew God was real because of the way he would tug at my heart doing altar calls, how he would, I would be crying, like all types of stuff. I knew for myself that God was real based on my own encounters with him as a little girl. But the enemy has literally taken liberty to try to just keep me away from God. He is so intentional. He's so strategic about it. And that's one thing we can't assume is that the enemy isn't strategic. He is. Um, and his intentions are to kill, steal, and destroy. So growing up as a little girl, knowing God was real, the enemy has given me certain battles. Like certain things have happened to me. And then this is like you war in yourself with certain things. And to know that even as a child, he deliberately was manipulating and making sure that certain things haunted me and to make sure he was deliberate in making sure that I had certain experiences. You know, there's certain things that we go through as people. We all have our own um, story to tell. Um, but it's just like certain things that you go through as people. And it's sometimes, you know, until you can understand that it's just a part of what, you know, was maybe a part of your story. Sometimes you just war within yourself. Like, why me? Why? Whoa, it's me. You know, you, you, you're a victim. Even if you're a legit victim. Like, I was a legit victim um, from my past Um encounters and things that have happened to me or whatever and a lot of us are i'm not saying that in any set in any way to insinuate that i need empathy but i take it personal that the enemy not only not only arranged what happened to me but then he took the initiative to plant other seeds in me seeds that brought up sexual immorality seeds that grew in lust um forms of uh, perversion, you know, the struggle with masturbation, all of those things are intertwined. 
And so it's just like, not only did he allow this happen, but he, he used it as a, as a, um, cord and as a chain to attach all of these other things in me that as a 32 year old woman, I'm still fighting today. So when I tell you like any video I post, my goal and my intention and if it hasn't been clear in the other videos, we setting a new precedent today, okay? My intention is to expose the enemy because God's love for me has been so overwhelming that God has shown me these things. And the fact that God has shown me these things, that is attached to freedom. Truth is attached to freedom. So it's just like, not only am I being exposed to these things, but now I want y'all to know. I want y'all to know because I want us Whoever, whoever God is called, I ain't trying to pull nobody, pull on nobody coattail that the Lord ain't already tugged at and ain't already kind of knocked at your door. Like I'm not, I'm not aiming to, I'm not aiming to bother people who content and comfortable in their lives. But if you, if you got, if you got something that you warrant uh, against in the, in the, in the flesh, understand first, the first key is to understand that it ain't in the flesh, it's in the spirit. And the enemy has a very strong vengeance for you. He wants you. He wants to kill, steal, and destroy you. And now that I understand that fully, because even back then in the day, I somewhat understood it. But one, I was comfortable in my sin, so I didn't even want to let it go. So it was cool for me to just play at the park on a merry-go-round with the enemy. But now that I know, I have released my sins. I have literally practically almost begged God, even though it's not necessary because God is so loving and he's, he wants us to want him, but he gives us free will. We have to choose, you know, so going to him desperately has literally allowed me to be, re to reveal everything that has been before me, the things that I've coveted, my sins, but it has also allowed God to give me the strength to let those things go. Like I have, I wake up every day and I assess my heart and I realize that my heart's desire is open. And it's because I had to pray for that. I had to really work and, and, and pray and let some things go in order to get to a place where I'm finally at a heart posture where I'm open. And me being open just means that I'm okay like being like every morning, God, Holy Spirit lead my day. My desires are my, not mine. Lord God, I, I take on your desires. What is your will for my life? And that has put me in a position where it pisses the enemy off. Talk about having vengeance and revenge. I don't got no ill will with nobody in the real world. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle against spiritual principalities and wicked and high and dark places. My vengeance is with the enemy because I have seen what he's done in my life, how he has tried to take me out. And I know he's tried to take some of y'all out too. So what I'm saying is one, my goal is to expose him. When I tell you I've been up late nights, like I said, warring in the spirit because he keep trying me. He don't even, I'm real gangster with it now though, because I have equipped myself in the spirit. I know the, I'm learning the word of God. I'm not saying I know it all. I don't know it all, but I am equipping myself because the Bible says that we need to be prepared to fight by putting on the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, the breastplate of righteousness. We need to have our feet ready with the readiness that comes from the word of God. We need to pray. We need to mount up the, the, uh, the, uh, sword of the spirit, the helmet of salvation, the, the, uh, shield. That, that can, dis, that can uh, redirect and stop all of the arrows of the enemy. I'm gunning for him by exposing his lies in your life. And I'm sorry if I'm passionate, but I am done being bullied in the spirit. It manifests in the physical. It manifests in the flesh. We think that, whoa, it's us. No, it's the enemy. And now that I know who my target is, it's, a, it's game over for him. Because at the end of the day, when Jesus died on the cross for us, let me equip y'all real quick. When Jesus died on the cross for us, he humiliated the enemy. Read, it's in the Bible. Read it. Find it for yourself. I encourage you. He humiliated the enemy. He humiliated the enemy when he died on the cross. When uh, Jesus died on the cross, he humiliated him and he automatically took dominion and he took control and authority over everything. He canceled everything in the enemy. But see, the enemy still plants seeds because we are Lord to money and we're Lord to sex, you know, and we're Lord to, um, you know, music that is that is really ultimately not not is not filling to the spirit. It's filling to the flesh. So um, 
He, he, he plants all these seeds because that's the only way he can still reach people. And we unknowingly, we still, we fall victim to his ways. And then his ways will literally plant seeds and root all type of just bad fruit in our lives. You know, things that have happened to me, it's just like that was bad fruit. And then it's just like you, you not only did I go through something that I went through, but then you continue to plant bad fruit, black because you want to take me out. You gunning for me, I'm gunning for you. And now I know what my fight is. So I don't ever want to make someone think that I'm coming for you and I'm coming for your sins and I'm coming for your struggle. We all struggle. I wake up every day like, oh my God, God, please order my steps. God, my this is new to me. This is new to me, but as I am being equipped and filled with the spirit of God every day, God, God is with us always. But as I am re reigniting the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, I'm every single day is a new day. And I'm like, okay, I'm about to, I'm about to walk this path. I'm about to walk this path because I understand what's on the other side. I've experienced it most of my life and I'm tired. That's why when I say I went to God and I was desperate, I was desperate because I was tired. And I know with some of y'all out there, y'all tired too. And if you tired of being whooped up on, get a hold of that word. Get some strength in you. Know how to fight the enemy in the spirit. Know how to learn how to fight the enemy in the spirit. I used to know that I needed to fight the enemy in the spirit, but I was so scared. I was afraid. Years ago, I was... um. I had a mentor. I had a spiritual mentor. You know, what's interesting about God is that I've always had spiritual guidance in my life. God has always planted women in my life around me that were spiritual warriors. And I would always do, I would always fall back off of them. That was the enemy trying to keep me up off that word because it's rich and it's freeing and it'll set you free and it'll get you up out of his trap. Because at the end of the day, um, if you tell the enemy to go back to the pits of hell where he belongs, if you tell him that, Joe, that you are property of the Lord and that he is trespassing, I'd be like, fool, you trespassing. Like if I hear if I hear noises in my apartment, y'all ain't gonna ever see me be this hype. But I got I got a lot of animosity toward him. And it's okay because at least I'm directing it the right way. If people come at me wrong, I don't pop off on them. I pop off at the enemy because I know what my fight is. Got the glory to God. But um, I be hearing little stuff in my apartment. I'd be like, um, you're trespassing. What are you doing? You're trespassing. You don't belong here. You are under my feet. I have authority over you because of who Jesus is. In the name of Jesus, I remind him what Jesus did. He humiliated you. I be living, child. Let me not get my blood pressure up, okay? Because I be over here really wanting the spirit. And I'm not saying that to boast. I'm just saying that to nuts. You guys know that you can do it too. I am never trying to come for you. I'm coming to expose the enemy. And his time is up. His time is up. His time is up. I take it personal when people don't have the same level of knowledge that I now have a hold of to. And I just want people to have it too. So the more I'm doing these videos and stuff, it's just going to piss the enemy off. And it seemed like I'll be right on target. That's my only intention. I'm going to calm down now because I get hyped. I get hype. Like I literally, the, the Holy Ghost fire, I be going in, okay? And I just, I'm so grateful to God because I used to literally just be cool with just chilling and lavishly like falling into the, the, to the trap of the enemy. Nope. You no longer have dominion over me. Nope. My children will be set free. Curses, demons transfer generation to generation. If your mother and your grandmother, if they didn't defeat the demon, guess where it's coming next? To you, it's gonna be on your death step. Anything that you are dealing with, nine times out of ten, the demon has hold, had a hold of you since you was a child. He don't want you to know these things. He has had a he has has had a grip on you since you were a child. And if he had a grip on you since you was a child, that means that whatever left someone in your family, when that person trans transitioned to wherever they eternal resting place was, that demon was coming to you next. Knock knock. We don't even be having, we don't even be understanding and knowing how to, how the enemy operates. He's so strategic and I am learning more and more. And the more I'm learning, the more I'm just like, okay, I'm learning more about who the enemy is and how he operates. And I'm also equally learning how to fight him because I will not be bullied. My life will not go to hell. You will not kill me. You will not destroy me. You will not steal from me. Not anymore. I serve God. And God alone. And there is no room in my life to, for, me to, for me to transition back and forth. Ain't no, ain't no playtime. Playtime is over.
I'm not playing. I hope that this enlightens some of y'all because we don't be knowing where our enemy is, who our enemy is. He is in the spirit and he, he'll come. He'll come. He'll, it'll be one spirit, that one spirit. That mug will leave. That mug will come back. It'll bring seven more spirits. And now the Bible, and that's in the Bible. The Bible says you'll be in a worse condition than you were before. You were better off with the one spirit. Now you now he done brought seven back. Ain't no, 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 no. Ain't none of that happening here. I see you. Your number, your, your, your gig is up. <laughs> it's up. Your number has been pulled. I know. I see. And anytime he comes, I'm no longer intimidated. I can, but I can sense when I'm, I, I can sense when I'm up against it. I can sense when I'm up against it now because God has equipped me. God has enlightened me. And I hope that y'all have been enlightened. I'm going to drop because I don't want to keep lingering, but I just wanted to give you guys that because if someone would have maybe told me and in different ways, people actually have told me, but you know, people get what they get when they, when they need to get it. I'm not here to, 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 I'm here to plant the seed. If it if it if it starts to grow in a year, so be it. I'm just planting a seed, but I'm letting you know where your real fight is. It's with the enemy. And if he is your if he your real if you realize that when you come to realize that we gonna be in great we gonna be in sync. We not being bullied no more. It's time out because God has given us dominion over the enemy. He is under our feet. He is he is he is further underneath my foot than the gum that could get caught at the bottom of my shoe. Okay. And he knows it now. He be trying to keep me up at night. I be like, I got all night. I'm going to just put these scriptures on you. What do you think this is? I'm not scared of you no more. I'm not scared of you no more. Surely as you surely as you have lingered in my life, you familiar spirit to, to hell you go. You are trespassing. I'm done with it. I, I put this here for now. This was on my heart. It was heavy. And you could tell it was heavy because it came up with, it came up, boy. But I'd rather send that energy where it need to be to the person that it belongs to and that's to the enemy it can send him he can go to the pits of hell where he belongs him and all his him and all his demons all his demon angels all of his all everything he owns and everything that belongs to him it can all go to hell glory to god so that's all i wanted to say i hope y'all have been encouraged i hope y'all can see it now that these people not your enemy your job is not your enemy your family not your enemy your children your spouse your friends it ain't none of that. It ain't none of that. Redirect your energy. Understand who is creating the chaos and the havoc. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He wants to destroy your relationships. He wants to destroy everything that you own. He wants to destroy your finances. If you marry, he wants to destroy your marriage. If, if you have a peace of mind, he wants to destroy that. Why? Because you belong to Jesus. He knows that Jesus died for your sins. And he knows that you have dominion over him. And he don't want you to, he don't want you to get a hold of that truth. But I just released it. Payback. God bless y'all. Bye. <laughs>